All Things Dentistry, and in front of you, you have a tooth with a large Sharpie mark on it. And I just want to share this tip with you. It was shared with me a long time ago, and I've actually used it since. An incident like this has happened to me a number of years ago, and it was root canaling the wrong tooth. And yes, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen to you at some point. Something is going to happen. And one way to prevent that, if you haven't had it, and I hope you never do, is to mark the tooth whatever way you want. This is with a Sharpie. And, you know, the problem is, with, especially with these mandibular incisors, they all look the same. So you can take a Sharpie, dry the tooth off, take a Sharpie. I actually have uh, a surgical marker right here. And let's just give it a rip. I'll try it on my own tooth. Let's see here. There you go. So what it does is not only does it, it marks the tooth and my left tooth because I'm trying to do it in my uh, camera, but not only does it, is that going off? Anyways, not only does it mark the tooth, it also, you can line it up with the long axis of the tooth. So when you're accessing into the tooth, you can actually watch uh, through the rubber dam and then you can get into the, you know, long, long axis of the tooth. So let's just take a look here. And what we're going to do is, you know, the problem is, is that once you put the rubber dam, it's, you're ready to rock. So it's hard sometimes. You can see it can almost, it's almost, it's very easy to put on the wrong tooth. So we're going to put it on the right tooth. So like I said, it helps you to indicate which tooth is the right tooth. You can do this and you can actually access the tooth without the rubber dam on. Um, the rubber dam actually prevents a, a patient safety incident from having sharp files and, and being ingested or aspirated, but also bacteria going into the tooth and our irrigants going into the oral cavity. There's lots of reasons why we need a, a rubber dam. But you can also you can always access a tooth without a rubber dam just to get the angulation correct and the right tooth correct. So there's a lot of different ways to make sure you're not going in the wrong tooth, but this is the simplest and safest, I think. So like I said, once we put um, once we put a rubber dam on, we, we can access. And you're gonna watch, I'm gonna be using this, let me speed this along here. So I'll post here part of this tooth. Let's bring this up. We'll be accessing, you can see it there. And what I'm doing is I'm looking from the front, front to see where the long axis of the tooth is. So we're into the tooth. There we go, we're right, we're right into the tooth. It's necrotic, so that reconfirms our initial diagnosis. And then we're gonna open and shape our coronal two thirds and then that's it. So that was my little tip is to prevent doing the wrong treatment on the wrong tooth is to mark the tooth in any ways. And there's other things we can talk about doing a timeout, but that's it. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, I hope it helps. Cheers.